It appears we've jumped ahead to another part of their journey. Now if the previous step that was corrupted by heatwave and useless vegetation was bad, this is another level. Mammoths did not live neither in forest nor this close to the mountainside. But this is one last barrier that they'll have to somehow cross to get to the colder weather up north. Especially if they're planning to go to, uh, what was the name again? No, they, they wouldn't know about it anyway, so. Looks like there are humans here too. Let's see if those guys fare any better. Great job once again, humans. Though, really, I shouldn't be surprised at this point. But wow, this place is real pretty. And here on the left, we can see some traditional ancient human habitations, which are now well, uh, abandon. Here are some much less abandoned houses. Feels like a bunch of clown cars, though. Yeah, really no other way to break those. It's kind of satisfying to watch, honestly. Well, on another note, I finally remembered something important. There is a place called Wrangle Island. It's an island far up north in the frozen sea between Asia and America. It's where the last known mammoths were known to have lived, as recently as 4,000 years ago. But with the warming up at the end of the Ice Age, the ice can't think the island to the rest of the world is truly melting away by now. I don't think these guys could make it there in time, even if they knew about it. You guys know humans used to push mammoths off of high hedges to hunt them? It was the best way to deal with those invincible beasts. It doesn't feel like those guys have caught onto that yet though. Looks like our four-legged team has turned these fictional equally four-legged tables on their aggressors. Yeah, that's a lot of fire over there. Seems like the little one isn't a fan of the flames. I'd bet anything those humans might use that against them somehow.
Yeah, that's how it could have ended back there. I'll be honest, I was picturing something a bit more cartoonishly amusing earlier. But yeah, this is not that. Um, oh, did you know that elephants and mammoths are said to be capable of as many complex emotions as we humans get? And we humans, we can get attached to just about anything with a name. So perhaps we should give our duo some nicknames, since we've been following them for so long already. How about Mamum and Little Flunk? I've, been, uh, I've never been good at names. You know, I uh, almost drawn in one as a kid. Rivers are crazy. Oh, that's uh, breathtaking. That explains the need for all the flames. <laughs> so many written drawings here. Oh, there's more people here as well. Looks like those are more equipped for war than for artistry, though. I uh, used to draw a lot as a kid, you know. I'd get in trouble if I roll on the walls, though. <laughs> I drew this elephant from a cartoon that I, I can't remember the name of to show it to my mom. It had ears so big they dragged on the floor, and uh, she was always uh, busy and. Uh, <laughs> This drawing 
It reminds me of a... Is that Wrangle Island? It looks like some sort of promised land. They all look so happy and... Uh, that's where... That's where Frankie and Mammon should go. Hey, um, Mammoths, I apologize for my previous pessimism. I want to see you guys get there, and I think you guys can do it too if you hurry. So, let's get you to Wrangle Island. 